Good morning, Church. My name is Margaret and I'll be answering the question around the great intervention that happened when the enemy visited Jael's tent and the significance of this story to the story of Jesus Christ. I'll start off by giving a small insight into the story of Jael. Jael's story is told in the book of Judges, Judges chapter 4. Uh, the story is told around a time when God decided to give Israelites reign back over the Canaanites who they had suffered great oppression from. We see a story of Deborah, um, God speaking to Deborah and Deborah getting back on board. They prepare their army and they go off to fight the Canaanites. The Canaanites army was led by a um, commander in chief called Sisera. They go into battle and God gives Israelites a great victory. Um, the army, the men on Sisera's army were dying and Sisera quickly realized that he was fighting a losing battle. He therefore decides to descend off his chariot and flee by feet. As he fled, he comes to across um, this tent that belonged to the woman of the woman of God called Jael. Um, Jael welcomes Sisera and Sisera thinks nothing of it because Jael was a Kenite and they were not at war with the Kenites. But the great intervention that we see from this story is that Jael quickly realized that the enemy had checked into her home, that sin had checked into her home and she therefore acted swiftly and acted under God's guidance and great and God's deeper alliance. And we see at the end of the story, she then finally um, kills Sisera with her own two hands. This is I was of great significance because from this we then start to see victory from the Israelites um, over the Canaanites. We see a different story, um, a great known story uh, with a different ending, the story of Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were also um, tempted by the devil. They, he visited their home, tempted them, and they disobeyed God. And from their disobedience, God punished them, and they forfeited the right to live in perfect harmony and peace with God. How does this relate to the story of Jesus Christ? God sees us and sees how much sin we're in, and he sends us his only begotten son so that he can die on the cross um, and forgive, and so our sins can be forgiven. Through this time of Easter, we commemorate the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. This is a reflection and a reminder that we are no longer bound by sin, that we are free from sin. So as we celebrate Easter, my brothers and sisters, I want to um, just encourage you to uh, celebrate with confidence and to seek God's guidance, but that even when sin checks in, that God will always give us the discernment to realize and recognize and to fight sin and kill it like Jael killed Sisera, because it is only sin that separates us from God. So I wish you all a happy Easter. May God bless you and let us celebrate in confidence because we have no longer bound by sin and we have life and life in abundance. God bless you all.